French movement and helped set up the Fourth Republic. The Cross of Lorraine came forth once more in 1958 as France teetered on the brink of disaster. Hailed again as France's man of destiny, de Gaulle was quickly named premier by French President Coty and given emergency powers. He dealt immediately with the situation in Algeria, bringing the army under control and spurring hope for a settlement and an end to the costly fighting. There is still much to be done, however, and the problems confronting him are extremely difficult. But based on his accomplishments during the past year, the easing of the crisis in Algeria, the writing of a new French constitution, and the overwhelming popular approval of his actions. This is the man chosen by... Needless to say, and as restrictive as this amendment is, it still behooves us, you and I, to study very carefully other restrictive measures to properly control the liquor business if it is authorized by the people of Oklahoma. In this connection, I recommend that you, by joint resolution, Give the voters, the people of Oklahoma, an opportunity to vote on a constitutional highway commission. On the issue of reapportionment, I would suggest at the outset, above all, that here, you and I, have taken a solemn oath to the principal law of this state, our Constitution. I would very urgently and sincerely recommend to you that in this area of apportionment or reapportionment, as in any other area, that we abide by both the letter and the spirit of that Constitution. We can make this session of the legislature go down in history, and I'm confident you will, and you will have, as the triumphant 27th. Thank you for your kind indulgence and attention. Well, the purpose of the letter was to call to his attention a situation which has existed for some time, but which, in my opinion, was brought to head in the issuance of the writ of prohibition in the J. Phil Burns case yesterday, which prevented me from going to trial in that case today. Do you feel the court was justified in issuing this writ? No, I don't. The writ of prohibition is a, what we call in legal parlance a very extraordinary remedy. And there was nothing at all extraordinary in the questions presented by Dick Jones and his lawyers to the Criminal Court of Appeals. They had an adequate appeal remedy, and I believe that they should have followed that route. Do you think that the court was partial to Mr. Jones uh, since he's a former member of that body? 
I don't want to make any assertions uh, like that, Bob, because uh, I don't think they would be justified. The fact remains that Dick Jones is a former member of the Criminal Court of Appeals and was out there for some 18 years. I investigated the situation for some two months and I thought it was for the best interest of the Highway Patrol and for the state of Oklahoma to remove the staff officers of the patrol and replace them with some men that had imagination, had zeal, the men that I thought could carry out the policies of what the people want and do something about, drastically do something about cutting the death rate and the loss of life and property upon the highways. on it, uh, Senator, was his excessive drinking on duty. I felt like that the best job that he was doing wasn't quite good enough. My question is, was he demoted for cause or was his demotion a political demotion? For cause. What was the cause? This statement I just made, Senator, that he is the best that he could do. Uh, we didn't feel like that it was good enough. There's nothing specific, no specific reason for his demotion, just the general belief that by uh, demoting him, someone else could do the job. We felt like that a, that a new staff could do a better job than what he was be able to do.